And now, the Wadfam Chalk Pod. Hi guys, welcome back to the Wadfam Chalk Pod. I'm Dylan. I'm Andrew. And uh, we're here again to yeah. talk about Adventures in Odyssey. We're back. Yep. <laughs> we, we made it for two episodes. <laughs> two episodes in a row. We're going strong. The first one hasn't come out yet, so we don't actually know if we've been canceled. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> we'll see. We haven't quite been yelled at for heresy yet. <laughs> yeah. So last episode, I, uh, I may have said that the next one we'd be doing was not 458. I lied. Uh, it's episode 458, <laughs> guys. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> Sequential order. Let's go. Novacom does skip episodes. This is not one of the ones that skips. So, sorry for the confusion. I'm sure both of you were yelling at your mics last time. (laughs) Um, We're easing uh, them into the transition, right? But yeah. This is episode two. They get, they're getting them real yep. comfortable. Then we start skipping yeah. episodes once they're ready for it. Exactly. Dipping the toes in the water, as it were. <laughs> Dipping the toes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, uh, today we're going over the uh, episode Red Herring, right? This it is Red Herring. Yeah. Yep. And uh, that's off the same album as the last one, which is... What's it called? I don't remember. Uh, big Picture? Big, so picture. big Picture. Yeah, the Big yeah. Picture. I just remember the uh, the album artwork is the girl with the, isn't it? With the oh, you're thinking. Tail? See, see, I'm a true fan because okay. in my mind the album artwork is I think a piece of paper with a handwriting on it because I'm referencing the cassette. Okay, okay. And they you. had the Different, true yeah. the true album artwork. I had the CD. That, uh, yeah. What is it? So the uh, album artwork oh, for this yeah, yeah, is yeah. a finger pointing at a map, and yes. it's Arthur Dent pointing at the tower. tower. From last episode. From last episode. Which, if you're tracking, is the last episode. Yeah. If you've been listening <laughs> along, four, four, it's the last episode. 457. <laughs> so, last last episode, we did a pretty, like, scene-by-scene scene recap. And, and we're going to try and switch up the format just because that's... It's, I mean, it's a little tedious to go through. Like, you don't need an audio format explaining an audio format. Right. If you want... <laughs> To hear the episode, just listen to the, the episode. episode. It's literally half the length of yeah. what we're doing here, and it's so much better. Yeah. <laughs> Significantly more enjoyable. Just, just, just. Do Honestly, that. like it might, like a might be a prerequisite to have listened to the episode before you listen to this. Yeah, I, I, if you, if you haven't listened to the episode, what are you even doing here? It's worth it. Yeah, and uh, this one especially is worth listening to because yeah. it's a dang good episode. It's super, super enjoyable. Uh, Old West Fun World. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> like, it's yeah. the hypothetical amusement park that That's, they're talking yeah. about. I mean, we have Dutch Wonderland, which is True. an actually worse name. Yeah. But, Dutch Wonderland. But Old yeah. West Fun World. Uh, Old West Fun World. They're like, <laughs> uh, and they're so excited about Old West Fun World. And then it makes a comeback at the end. Wait, does it? I totally wasn't expecting it. But yeah, when he, oh yeah, after he they get grounded, yeah. he's like, I can't even go to Old, Old West, West Fun World. World. And I was like... <laughs> This is this is perfectly Midwest. Yeah, it's, it's really so... it's per and like for the time and for everything, and it's just like, well, there's got to be some sort of consequence. Amusement park. What should we call it? I don't know. Old West Fun World. Sure, let's move on. Like, <laughs> yeah. good enough for me. I, I the fun seems so unnecessary. Yeah, old old West World. <laughs> TV <Did we> show? <laughs> Old Westworld. Not, uh, yeah. not the new one, the original 80s movie. Yes, yes. But oh, wasn't it a TV show on HBO no. in the 80s? No, it was a movie. Okay. It's now a TV show on HBO. Okay. No, but it was, a, it was a really, really good episode, actually. Like, thoroughly enjoyed this one. Way more than the last one. Uh, <laughs> Cal yeah. is really annoying. Yes. So is Alex. Yeah, yeah. Starting off, could not figure out which one was talking. No, Took me no. forever yeah. to, to come up with that because I just... How? They're not... Like, they weren't characters that were in the show that much. Yeah. They're basically just, for just in for this series, right? Like, yeah. I think they were introduced maybe the album before, but yeah. they think they basically go away with the end of the series. Like, it's not... it's They're not mainstays of the show, which is fine. I don't know. I've, I've got yeah, that. well, and it's, like, pretty smart writing because that way you don't have to bring along the baggage of Novacom with their character, you yep. know, arcs. Yeah. Like, yeah. You don't get... They don't the have to deal with, like, with the aftermath, right? but you... Yeah, like the shepherds. Pretty much shepherds is. are basically just just for this series, and part of it too is not like they these characters were specifically brought in for Novacom. Part of it's just like 
Novacom ran over like three years. Yeah. So these were just the characters they were using for three years. Yeah. I would... Which is crazy to think about that. Like each one of these albums was like at least ten months apart. Oh yeah. No, it's it's ridiculous to be like whole oh, like this is such a slow burn if yeah. you're listening to it live. Yeah. Like especially an incredibly slow burn. Especially because you do have those like filler episodes and stuff. Yeah. As opposed to like stuff down the line where you've got like Green Ring Conspiracy, which is literally All twelve episodes, an album, they aired every week for twelve weeks and that was the whole thing. Yeah. Like and it was very good if I remember. Yeah. Correctly. I I have positive memories of I, that. I, I I yeah, I don't remember not liking it. Also Connie's really bad at interviewing. Still, uh, I I was like yeah. thoroughly shocked when I listened to that part of this episode. I was like, how did she not get any better? Yeah. Like I figured, like the thing I really don't understand is she doesn't have any idea about what they found out beforehand. Yeah. So what part of her was like, hey? Today on my radio show, our topic, topic is, is secrets is, kept from friends. That you're going to talk like, about in, on radio. <laughs> but, like, there's no, like, it ends up building to her being like, oh, Eugene's keeping a secret from me. But she... Didn't know that like, going into it. She did not know that. She was just like, hmm. What well, we? I, the only people I was able to find were these two high school students i'm middle guessing school middle school students i'm guessing they, they were the only people i could find for my show so like Seventh let's just grade. come up with a random topic how about uh keeping secrets from friends that, yeah, that would be like low stress they'll well. jump on yeah. in on that everyone likes to talk about their the secrets, secrets on a radio <laughs> show <laughs> like it's yeah it's so bad i don't and, yeah and, yeah and it's just like and obviously you know it's like I've written in like pretty hard for exposition, like exposition's sake, but like, wow, that's a topic, I guess. Yeah. And like, you would think that maybe Connie as a character, after literally, I don't know, maybe a week, two weeks ago, was like basically yeah. scolded off the air. Yeah, and yep, now she gets to have and it I happen never, again. I never knew that Connie had a is it cupcake company, cookie company. She has a cookie company. She it's the Dreams by Constance. Uh, yeah, and then which the, we already knew about. Yeah. That's her wedding planning. But the cookie one's weird because yeah. it's like cookies by Connie, which they were clearly just looking for things that started with the C. Yeah, but like it's an established part of the show that Connie cannot Ten cook. Cook. Yeah, like yeah, that's, that's hit on many episodes. Yeah. So, I, my guess is she's just, like, buying Costco cookies and putting them in, like, quirky wrapping paper. Like, there's no it's way... It's gotta be something There's no like way that. she's... Or maybe yeah. she, like, has worked really hard to get one recipe down, and that's it. Like, she, she's the definition of a one-trick right. pony when it comes or, to cooking. Or they're, like, no-bake cookies. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. She's just stirring them up in a pot. Yeah. There you go. Oh, man. The, the weird thing, too, that I... Like, something you never think about listening to these as a kid. But, like, is she paying for her own ad time? Because yeah. she's got, like, it's her show. And then she cuts to ads that are hers. hers? Yep. I I honestly can't remember. Do we ever get ads that aren't hers? Like, do, do we get ads in there for, like, I feel come like on down to... to What's it, uh, Rathbone? That's, like, that's the only Rathbone thing I can Emporium. think of. The, the, uh, the electronic store that, that, yeah. that Bart Rathbone runs, or, like... Which, what a uh, wonderful character. I freaking love it, the Rathbone. Is, is House, Rathbone. House, House Diner? Is that a yeah. thing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, House, Diner's House Diner is a thing. thing. Because I started to say, and then I was like, shoot, am I just confusing it with Al's Pancake World? Yeah, yeah or which JJ's is, Diner. <laughs> which Al's Pancake World is Gilmore Girls. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, uh, working yeah. through ever so slowly. Yeah. A, I, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of Gilmore uh, um, Adventures and Odyssey overlap right there. It, it appears like there's... Small town, dialogue heavy. But yeah, incredibly dialogue heavy. Uh, strong female roles that uh, are often actually. Like that. Have we seen a strong female role yet in Adventures in Odyssey? I'm not saying there aren't any, but uh, um, what's um shoot? I'm just saying out of these two episodes, the yeah, female characters are really weak. Yeah. Well, I feel like Diane's probably the, like Jack and Diane. Like she's yeah. probably Joanne jo- or Joanne. Sorry. Jack and Joanne. Jack, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack and Joanne. Um, she's like pretty strong in this series. Yeah. No, I mean 
they definitely have strong characters. But just less. <laughs> well, I'm curious, too, if basically if there are any that aren't identified by their relationship to a man. Yeah. Yeah, probably not. Because, like, yeah, even your one you threw out, on. like, we didn't know who it was until we said Jack, Jack and, and, like, it's... Yeah. Jack, well, because she's always referred to as Jack and uh, Yeah, it's Joanne. always Jack and Joanne. But, like, yeah, I... Yeah, I don't... have only listened to two episodes in the last, I don't know, five plus years. With so, dead life, maybe? Can we count that? No. And there's like, a lot of fun yeah. stuff in this episode. Yeah, just uh, so much fun stuff. Yeah. So, kind of the crux of the episode, Alex and Cal, mm -hmm. their names are too similar. That's also Calix. a problem. Calix. <laughs> Calix are, uh, they're walking... <laughs> Damn it. Just go with a ship name. Yeah, um, well, I have it in my in my notes that we can do an Alex and Cal fanfic. They did hold hands. Oh yeah. There's so, man, is there Adventures in Odyssey fanfic? I don't think I wanna know, but I kinda uh, do. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There's gotta be At least some. Yeah. There's enough weird people that like it and like right. the kinds of people that do would totally do that. Yeah, I mean Adventures in Odyssey might have been the first fandom I was a part of. Yeah. Uh, I mean, maybe Star Wars predates it oh. for me, I guess. As far as, like, yeah. really big pop culture yeah. things. Yeah, that's, that's probably true. But honestly, by the, like, if I watched Star Wars at the age of four, I probably was listening to Adventures in Odyssey at the same time. Yeah. So. They're the same in my yeah, eyes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're both equally good. <laughs> Mark Hamill is a voice actor. He could come on Adventures in Odyssey. We could have <laughs> oh a my crossover Lord. episode. Mark Hamill on Adventures in Odyssey <laughs> would <laughs> kill me. He'd have to be playing, like, he would be really good as, like, one of the random villains in, like, the spy episodes. Yeah, yeah. What it's like, or like oh, the, um... this episode we're just following Jason doing some random spy episode. Yeah. Um, and maybe Tasha's involved. Or, like, and, a like the villain episode. is. Ooh, I like yeah. that better. Be like Imagination Station. We're going back in time. Mark Hamill is Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? Like, that's like, so good. Yeah. I want to hear Mark Hamill say, The Bonnie. The Bonnie. <laughs> do they ever reference the VeggieTales in Adventures in Odyssey? I don't. I don't feel like they do. I would say no, but I don't know. It seems like a missed opportunity. It does. I imagine that there's copyright issue. no well i i imagine there's no if they can if they can reference like arthur dent and johnny cash songs they could it, yeah, yeah like veggie tales doesn't have lawyers you're fine fair, fair enough like but i feel like maybe uh focus on the family and big ideas had a bit of a rivalry oh they most definitely did right well that's what i don't know because it's the passive aggressive rivalry that only exists within evangelical but, media but as far as i know like focus on the family never really dipped into video and big ideas never really stepped outside of video except for the adventures and odyssey the adventures and odyssey <laughs> tv Boy. show is not canon and is the worst it's so bad i remember watching that at and just um, being sad like congregational meals where yeah, we'd be every now and then yeah oh my word that yeah. There was one, it's like, winter episode with, like, a sled, and that's all I remember about it, and it just being wow. ridiculous. I remember less. And also, Wits End somehow being massive and small, and the Imagination Station being the size of a bed. Like, oh. It was weird. Yeah, all my images of Adventures in Odyssey come off the cassette album covers. Yeah, basically, so honestly, yeah. that's, like, how I think about it, too. Like, what Wit looks like and all that. Yeah. Like, yeah, I just remember watching it, because after I had listened to so much Adventures in Odyssey, like, it was just so trippy. Like, this can't be right, is it? I don't know if you've had this experience, but there are certain podcasters I listen to, and, like, there's this one guy, uh, Mike Hurley, of mm -hmm. Relay FM. He he started vlogging at one point, mm -hmm. and it's really really weird to see a person you've only ever heard, yep. then in front of you with their lips moving, like yeah, talking, and well, like it's a similar thing for eventually. Like it's like I've got a perfect picture. It's well, it's kind of the same thing of like anytime they adapt a book to a movie, and you're yeah. like, well, I pictured it differently in my mind. You know? But you expect that more with book to movie than you do with like podcast person to being on a you like in a yeah. YouTube video. Like yeah. I totally get that. I did. Yeah, that happened yeah. like the Bim Bam because they all have oh, such yeah. unique voices. And do they though? I feel like they all sound the same. Anytime. Except for the one. The one guy sounds really different. <laughs> Travis McElroy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like anytime I hear I hear Mabim Bam stuff, I'm just like, is it just the same guy recording over top himself? It might be. 
So the, ten out of ten. Yeah, the crux of this episode is is Calix. Calix. Um, <laughs> that's where things diverge. Yep. We're back. Uh, they're they're on a field trip to Campbell County Community College. Mm-hmm. More on that in a second. But um, and they kind of stray off from the group. Yeah. And they go to this restricted area. Yeah. And they the uh, colleges have they we get we get we get established that uh, Alex and Cal they're cousins. Yep. Cal is bold and adventure seeking, and Dumb. Alex is <laughs> logical and a wet sandwich. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. so. That's, Man's not even like I'm a like... wet sandwich. He's just like a wet piece of bread. <laughs> like at least sandwich or something redeeming about it. It's hard because we're supposed to be on board with Alex because he's the raising the guy. questions and making the right choices, but he's so just whiny and pathetic. Yep. yep. And then Cal, who we're supposed to be like, no, no, no that's the bad kid. He's gonna get us into trouble. Is like slightly more bearable yeah yeah he's like, just like, i don't like, know like at least he's he's dumb but at least he's like got personality yeah and like and he's charming yeah and he yeah. cares about things and like I, I can't tell if that is bad character development or good character development because the bad part is neither of them are super likable on their own the yeah. good part is they're more true to life because they both yeah. have like strengths and flaws unlike wit who's, who's infallible yeah, yeah. apparently somehow <laughs> which and honestly like the voice of god mr whitaker is like totally a thing that i completely forgot about and he's yeah. like connie you need to change your topic now and you're like what <laughs> he comes literally out listening? of nowhere for that <laughs> it's like oh he's over in like he's on a trip in connellsville yeah the neighboring town, and then he comes back mid episode. Which, yep. Because yep. cause Alex and Cow are, are, Connie's like, you guys got to do the show for me. And they're like, uh, we don't want to get wit. And she's like, oh, he's in Connellsville. Yeah. So then they're hitting the crux of their episode. And right as things start to go off the rails, Wit walks in and is like, you guys need to go to a commercial. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> you, were, you were supposed to be in Connellsville. <laughs> also, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Mans drove like at least six miles, is my guess. Yeah, I don't, I don't Even know what the. I feel like, I feel like it's like twenty minutes yeah, between like the two. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's like maybe Lidditz and Lancaster City, like right. That kind that's, of distance. That's kind of what I'm picturing. Like, yeah, like a good, a good twenty minute. Yeah, twenty Ish. minute drive, depending on traffic. Depending on traffic, <laughs> which um, I'm sure is very bad in the you know yeah. Midwest. <laughs> small town situation <laughs> yeah yeah i'm sure oh the community college thing i wanted to get back on campbell county community college i don't understand how they are a community college it makes no sense the field trip is to a planetarium yep they are doing research on radio yep. waves like yeah I, I can't say the other half of that because that is a spoiler yep. they're doing radio wave research you know, with a restricted area interest. that has a security guard like it's part of the problem that we discussed last time with odyssey being the center of the world oh, yeah yeah i guess <laughs> it's just like listen i i go to a community college i know what community <laughs> colleges look like there's <laughs> nobody in lab coats <laughs> Just professors walking around mildly over or underdressed. They don't have a planetarium. Yeah. Like, you got a mediocre gym at best. There are there aren't that many planetariums, period. Yeah. Like, this is a Chicago suburb. I imagine Chicago has a planetarium. If Chicago has a planetarium, there's mm. no reason your suburban community college should. Yeah. The stars are pretty close together. They, yeah. Like, and so much of this series, I feel like we're just gonna keep coming back to like, but, um, okay. <laughs> yeah. Secret yeah. agent? It is. Okay. Yeah. It is gonna be a lot of that. Also, the whole bit where he's like, secret agents, you know, wear cool glasses, and drive cool cars, and walk away from explosions, and Eugene yep. wears Coke bottle glasses. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. It's like, yeah. Al- Alex, you, you, you hurt me. You hurt yeah. my soul. The one bit, though, that Cal says is where he's like, Cal, Cal says, like, you know, when you were a kid, you used to always color inside the lines. <laughs> and then he's like, I make my own lines. <laughs> I make my own lines. <laughs> I like- if I was not on the stationary bike in the middle of doing something, I would have paused it and walked away. It, oh my word, you should have just ridden your stationary bike out of the gym. <laughs> just like, it's, pick it up. <laughs> Listen, guys, this is for a bit. It's I'm trying so, to express my I, disgust. That is, yeah, that's such a... Yeah, so there's this whole bit, they like, Cal and Alex stumble upon, you know, this top secret stuff, and then they come back, they're on the radio show... 
the radio show doesn't go well. Then they go back to Alex's house. Ooh, before before they go back to Alex's house, we have the moment where where Connie's like, "Oh yeah, there was some random person here installing phone stuff," and we're just <laughs> like, "Hmm." She's like, "I didn't even have to call." It's like, "All right, Connie." I naive mm. Connie is naive. Yeah. Ding. Yeah, it's I don't know. I I remember liking Connie so much Which more, more than I do yeah. right now. Yeah. Like I'm gonna. This is gonna be. This is gonna be my mantra throughout this whole thing. It's just like Boy, maybe it's Connie. just these episodes i think she does get but better it, a little bit or, or at maybe least... she was better yeah like i i don't know it's a little tough for me it is just very frustrating how naive she is well and especially because like how old is she supposed to be like realistically she's probably between 18 and 20 at this point yeah, she's got to be past that right she's got to be like 20s yeah but like young 20s yeah yeah, yeah, I yeah. think early, early to mid twenties, but and so she's like a grown adult, right? I, I think taxes. she can drink at this point. Yeah, like... yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep, she can definitely smoke. Can she drink? I'm gonna comfortably say yes. Yeah, and uh, and she was just like, yeah, somebody just went upstairs yeah. to to the business that I don't even own. Yeah, like I no let them into there. the locked office because we establish. That it's locked. The office is locked. That is a step for the yeah. end of the episode. Because he's like, oh, who has the keys? To... And, and it's just like, uh, it's just like, oh, it's only Eugene and Connie. And then Connie's like, oh, it must have been the, it must have been the, the person who came to work on the phones. But you let them into a locked office, office Connie. Yeah, to work on the phones and didn't even ask like, so what you doing? Are the phones broken? Yeah. Did they like, break them just to fix right, them? Like, right, right, right. It was probably one of those, like, spy, like, ah, oh, I'm gonna quick cut the line and then walk in and be like, your phones aren't working. I'm here to fix them. Walk, and then walk out yeah. and fix it. But And then install a self-destructing modem. Self-destructing modem. That was, yeah. Yeah. The best, okay, the best part of the self-destructing modem is, so there is- What, they describe a, a Wi-Fi router? <laughs> No, not not the router part. I actually the whole idea with the modem is that someone's using it to piggyback in yeah. on their Wi-Fi signal so that they can't be traced hacking. And their techno jargon is actually half decent. Yeah. Um pulling back the curtain a little bit. Uh professional IT guy is is my is my occupation. Yeah. Yes, sir. So uh I am definitely underqualified to talk about this. Well, a general but, understanding. Yeah. But it's uh it's yeah, I, I don't know. I was like I've seen much much worse explanations yeah so you're you're fine you're, you're, especially you're okay. especially for a show that came out in the in 2000s yeah like when like this, this like, is a good good yeah job. i have seen shows that came out last week do worse than this yeah so like thumbs up to that but the best part is so it's a detective and it's wit yep and they're looking at this modem and the detectives reaches for the modem and wit goes i wouldn't do that and then it blows up like he is, oh my, he's so omniscient. I don't understand. How can you? Why is he always right? Why does he know everything? Like, I get. And it's completely unnecessary. Yeah. He, the, there's nothing that's taken away by wit if he just, like, he doesn't have that line. And the right. detective's like, I'll just take this back to the, oh no, it broke. Like, right. Yeah. But, but we gotta be like, oh no, no, no. But wit wouldn't knows. have done that. He knows His better. His spiritual sensitivity the... knows that this modem <laughs> blew up. <laughs> he knows, like, wit, he knows better than the head of the high-tech crime unit. Uh, oh yeah, you heard me. <laughs> it's a high-tech crime unit for a Chicago suburb. It's like, they introduce him and they're like, this is whatever his name. He's he's the uh, he's part of the high-tech high -tech crime tech. unit for Odyssey Police Department. And I'm just high like... Tech. I mean. What high tech crime is happening in Adventures in Odyssey? That I'm demands its own unit! Right! Like if it's regional, state, whatever, came in from out of town, freelance. Cool. Came, came in from of out of town, or hey, this is our guy who knows computers. Yeah. High tech crime, crime unit. unit. Like, most, I, th I thought most of the issue, like, most of the police issues in this are just portrayed as, like, the bones of rat break a window. Yeah, basically. And, and now it's like, we have a high-tech crime unit. You better watch out. And I'm like, small uh, town. Small, small town. town. Yeah. Small town. Yeah. And, and and maybe maybe we're chalking it up to be too much. Maybe their high-tech crime unit is just the two guys. That are, that are Cedric and but, whatever the no, other guy's name is. Even if you have two guys, that's too, too many. many. Yeah. 
what is your like even if it's just the one guy maybe it's just their I, secretaries that are really good at uh i, I don't know man i don't know i was i was having it is it's it's just funny a it's really that. funny but that's so that's towards the end of the episode there was the whole yeah. bit um so they go back to alex's, alex's house, house. Yep. and they get on the computer and they start doing like research about whatever they thought they saw at the gamble county community college yeah so so they're trying to get in we find out alex's mom is the secretary yes and so they're looking around for a password. Her password is milk and eggs. Yeah. Alex goes, oh, that's just a grocery list posted next that's to my, my computer. computer that I keep there. <laughs> and Cal's like, no, that's Maybe. probably the password. It's like, on one hand, all right, that does seem like a very, like, 90s thing to be like, my clever password looks M- like a normal a thing. thing. But yeah. milk and eggs is the worst password. Well, I'm... It's so Does bad. It? If if your password is milk and eggs, why in the world do you write that down? You don't forget a password that is milk and eggs. Yeah. That's not. Yeah. That's not. Not that's, worthy of a note. The, no. If no. you if you like if you alternate between like capitals, lower cases, numbers, like, and it makes no sense. Sure, write it down. Doesn't Wit but, have a password that's kind of like that too? That's like revealed earlier or later oh. in the series. Like it's something like weird oh, like that. There's he's got some code word for the imagination station. Yeah, that's also like yeah. a food maybe. Yeah, it's a food. Um, applesauce. Yeah, applesauce. <laughs> that was the last time you thought about applesauce. Dude, forever. That's incredible. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh my Dang, word. That is. In the deep recesses of my brain. <laughs> yeah. I'm amazed you pulled that out. I would not have gotten there. I was like, but yeah. yeah. I remember. That's that's from like way early on in the show, though. That's yeah, like that's, when Dr. That's, Blackard. I was going to say that's Blackard stuff. And so horrible, they get, they get, horrible milk and eggs thing. Yeah. It's just the worst. Yeah, it's absolutely, ugh. And they write it down and everything, and it works, and it's cool. And then Argum shows up, and honestly. <laughs> Sorry. Dude, I'm going to keep cutting you off. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I want to get to Aram so badly, but. His mom's a secretary. Yes. So she looks up the Eugene stuff. Yes. That's okay, whatever. She can see his stuff. There's something called RWS, because it's yeah. Radio, Radio Wave Study. Wave. So they read a folder called RWS under Eugene's profile. And then they open that folder and see Radio Wave Study. And then the thing pops up to be like, uh, you need higher credentials to get here. And I'm like, why can a secretary open a folder on a classified thing and read anything? Yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> like, like it's like, we put... Can't you just alt-tab we, away and work at the folder? <laughs> we made the name coded, but you can still see yeah, the yeah, actual yeah, name yeah. if you click on it. Yeah, that's, oh. <laughs> yep, it's, I, that's some logic. Yeah. I Some was... real strong logic. The production value of this this episode is really good, though. Yeah. Uh, like I had noted, um, so obviously, like we can talk about Aram, I guess. Yeah, we're we talking can. about Fire Aram. Him. Thank goodness, he's a voice from the computer. I guess, yeah. Which was like, and in hindsight, like that's the only way that they could do it. Yep. Because it's an audio thing, and you can't do text <laughs> over audio. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a very uh, robotic voice. Yeah. Done by Bob Luttrell. Yes, of course. Why it, not? <laughs> but like, and the voice, it sounds like is really good. And yep. like, yeah, it's, they, I love the noise it makes when, when he gets a notification. Yeah, like, dude, that noise is like so super good. iconic to me. Yeah, yeah. Well, and like, and it that, ties through that is, with his character. Oh, yeah. That sound right there is my is my version of like the AOL um, yeah, instant boot message. Up, yeah, yeah. So- sound that everyone everyone knows, or like dial up boot up, like yeah. the dial up boot or up the uh, the Windows XP loading. Yeah, yeah. He's a really cool character, and like the way they use that sound, like it one builds on like the soundtrack is fantastic, and it comes back. The soundtrack like, is so good on and this it episode. Comes oh back word. like later in the series when uh, Aram shows up again. Like you get that, and you hear the voice, and you're just like shivers. Like it's yeah, it's real good. They do the anytime. They do the double music because they're mm-hmm. going to a commercial yeah. in between. I, it's so good. Yeah. Like, the transition yeah. music in this show is so good. Absolutely Like, it's fantastic. so much better than it has any business being. Yeah. Really so, like, and, and, and inexplicably so. Like, I guess their sound engineer is just really good. Yeah. I, whoever whoever does the score, like, I don't... I, I'll have to... Maybe I'll look into that for the next episode. I want to know what else he's done. Yeah. Because he's... It is absolutely He's fantastic. Great. It's very much Odyssey, and I don't know if it's Odyssey because it was Odyssey before it was this. You know what I mean? Like, if it's if it's only right. nostalgic because... Or if it's only good because it's nostalgic because right. of all that happened before it. But right. it gives you that small town feel. Yeah. Like, it's... It does. 
the same way the Lala's do for Gilmore. For, exactly. For, oh, the, the tie-overs, the crossover. What is this, a crossover episode? I need a, uh, I need a uh, Rory and Lorelai visit Odyssey episode. Oh, or, maybe that's or, a Patreon exclusive. Or, or Connie and Eugene go to Star's <laughs> Hollow. <laughs> That would be that would be a thing. Oh man. I feel like yeah, I feel like uh Lorelai would just tear apart Connie. Yeah. No, there's no punches pulled. They'd also I don't I don't know where you get good coffee in Odyssey, but uh that would be Yeah. That would yeah, be Yeah, uh well my guess is House Diner. Right, probably House Diner. I mean Woodson probably has coffee. Yeah. It I seems don't know. to have like they have food, right? They've established oh, yeah. they've got like fries yeah, yeah. and stuff. They've got they've got world famous chocolate soda. Of course. I've got the world famous chocolate soda. Did Aram know or Aram know who he was communicating with? Great point. They like, lost <laughs> <anybody>. <laughs> 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 like even if you can trace it like no, that's the absolute best. Just imagining that it is actually Alex's mom and she accidentally opens up the folder and it just pops up like you want access? And she's like, absolutely not. Sending this to security right away. <laughs> yeah. Guys, we've got a breach. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, and like, whatever. The luck for Aram to run into Cal and Alex and... It's two oh, mischievous, uh, mischievous middle schoolers, I suppose? Yeah. Yeah, and <laughs> immediately for Alex's first reaction is... Not allowed to talk to strangers on the <laughs> internet. <laughs> yeah. Which is just like, I mean, good general rule of thumb. Yep. Um, yep. But also, like, it's so focused on the, the family. family. Yeah, well, and before they even get on the computer at his house, it says, my parents don't like me being on the internet by myself. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I, yeah. I, what I an that. uncomfortable experience that it is to be, like, showing somebody something on the internet, like, on a desktop computer. Like, that's oh, such a weird Lord. experience. Oh. Like, can you imagine, like, every time you needed to use the internet, even as a child, that your parent was, like, sitting next to you? <laughs> okay. I mean, <laughs> my parents were usually around when I was using the computer. That's not that crazy. Yeah. My computer's in the basement, so, like, right. it was less so. Yeah. I'm also a little bit older. And my sure. parents like me better. Sure. Now, I'm oldest child probably plays into it, too. Yeah. But, like, we, yeah, we barely had a computer when I, I was think it young. was I think it was more so, like, they didn't want me in the basement alone on the computer, I think. So, so like, if, like, Grace or, like, Brandon oh, was doing yeah. it, like, that would be, like, that was cool. Yeah. But it was by a that long standard, time right? into having... It would have been cool yeah. having Cal there. It would have been cool having Cal. Although, I feel like Cal's probably not the person you want there. No. He's, it like, doesn't uh, seem like a... Yeah, yeah. Let's hack into this... <laughs> High security college thing. It'll be high fun. security community college thing. Community college, right? <laughs> oh. Can't forget. Forget <laughs> community college. Yeah. Boy, I need to go well, to Campbell I, County. <laughs> like, I guess they're trying to play into the small town thing, but there is no reason for it to be a community college. It could totally just, just be just, a university. Just call it like Campbell University, and we're golden. Yeah, and it like makes sense. Also, if you call it that, it makes so much more sense for genius eugene to be there yeah like certifiable like, genius right like, yeah also why would eugene be wearing a lab coat to do computer work that was my question <laughs> because they talk about like seeing eugene in a lab coat so alex oh so they logged in aram hacked them in but before they really got anything they the didn't computer. get anything no no right. they oh the computer crashes that's yep. right and yep. then the security guy talks to at Campbell County Community yes, College. Of course, talks to the, Campbell the, University for the, 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 sanity's the, sake. The four C's. Yes, Cal is just a younger male version of Connie. Oh yeah, kind of. Although I feel like Cal has an agency. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Oh. No, but like, like maybe it's just this episode. But I was like, wow, they are just very similar as far as just like kind of going off the. Off the yeah. rails. <laughs> yeah. Off yeah, the rails. Is that the... Have you ever... That was a game on Miniclip? Yes, yes. With the Mexican yep. jumping piece yep, and, the, yep. and the, the, the the train that you move with your arms? Yes, yes. Heck. What a game. Yes. <laughs> Off I the love, rails. I love that that just well, happened. Yeah, well, yeah, we were talking about games that you played. I feel like, like I probably played that game while listening to Adventures in Odyssey. Oh, On definitely. a family computer with someone else in the room. Yep, yep. I, that's what you're saying. I was like... 
We had two computers next to each other in the basement. Me and Brennan will both get on one more level dot com. We play the games uh, Dude, next no, to each we, other. We, we would Nick and I would take turns. Okay. We didn't have two computers. Wow. We, Homeschooling. We had multiple computers. We got we got P A V C S computers back, but they were desktops. They weren't laptops. So they were like a well, big yeah yeah. yeah I, I, had the I, computing power of dude, I, there wasn't a, a calculator. <laughs> I was the first person to own a laptop in my family, and that wasn't until high school. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. We've only had three computers my entire life. Yeah, we've had... I think we've had three. Yeah. Or, I'm like, three main computers. We've had, like, a bunch of, like, secondary ones that have nope. come and gone because of school and stuff. Nope. There were computers that, like, I own a computer and Nick owns a computer, but other than that, there have literally only ever been three. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, and the last one happened, like, since I graduated high school. Oh. So it was just two for a good wit. Oh, yeah. Um, so uh, Cal and Alex get in trouble. They find out. That's right. Yeah, and yeah. like, and so they get punished. And then we get the wonderful speech from Alex's dad to Alex, which sounds like a quintessential. Like It sounds like straight up out of a, like a Focus on the Family pamphlet. Okay. I, like, I don't it was, remember. I didn't write anything down about this. It was thing. really just like really, really put together. Like, all right, this is how the, pa- you know, this is how the patriarch of the family should respond to <laughs> times of trouble. Send them to their room, collect your thoughts. And then you say... Well, you need to make sure that, you know, you don't let your curiosity get out of hand. Oh, that's right. Because the moral of this episode is curiosity is bad. Yep. Basically. Basically. <laughs> Unless you're curious about the Bible. Yep. And then that's, you that's can just Chris go and smile. Yep. She's like, we got to make sure we're only curious about good stuff like the Bible. Yep. Unless you go on, you know, mildly traumatizing uh, virtual reality experiences and technology. But it's like, wit is an inventor. Yep. Inventors have, have to, to be, be curious. curious. And this whole like, time he's like, no, no. No curiosity. Uh, Go home, read your Bible. Uh, uh, wait, is that hypocritical? No. <laughs> well, you no. are God, no. so. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, and so, and then the police officers are like, no, we'll work with them. Oh, that's right. The police officers are like, hey, kids, you know how to make contact with Aram. Do it again. When literally, there's no reason the yeah, kids have yeah, to do it. Yeah, like the kids could have just been like, "Look, this is what we did. We logged in with my mom's account. We tried to get into Eugene's files." And the police could have been like, "Sweet, let's we'll do, do that." that. And so, so there's no way. Kids. There's no way Aaron knows this. The kids. I think the cops like they're like, uh, "Type this. Uh, type type that. Uh, ask him." <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're trying to stall for time because they got to do that yeah, BS. Me, by the way, who am I talking to? That BS CSI, like, yeah. back tracing. Yeah, well, yeah, and it was like. <laughs> and the cops are like, uh, Aaron's was like, like, I'm logging off. And the cops are like, oh, quick storm. Uh, ask him who he is. <laughs> like, yep. nothing's going to make a hacker go away faster than, who are you? Yeah, yeah. when he's already leaving. <laughs> and, the, and the whole bit where he's like, okay. They're basically just doing a tapping a phone line. Or, like, like tracing a phone line. But with a computer, which I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> I mean, sure. that's also not how tracing a phone line works. Yeah. So, so it's fine. It's just but, double wrong. Yeah. Yeah, and then and then they obviously were so we're back to where we were before where they they go upstairs and they trace it to the modem and the modem blows yeah, up and blows they, up. And then they're like some wireless transmitter hooked up to it. And they're like is that just a Wi-Fi route? Yeah. Get but it's 2000. That. Yeah. Yeah. That's some that's some secret agent stuff. Oh yeah. That is some, <laughs> some secret agent stuff. And then uh we end on the episode on Alex grounded in his bedroom. Yes. Cal shows up at his window. Climbing on like, top of his garage. And is like, hey man, I... Oh, wait, wait, Before Cal enters the room, because it's an audio show, we hear Alex just saying, this is awful. To no one. Yep. He's just sitting in his room, he's just like, this, this is, is awful. awful. Yeah. <laughs> and then Cal knocks on the window, climbs in. Oh no, he doesn't climb in, because the window gets slammed on him in a bit. Yeah. But he's basically just like, hey, look, my dad has a... Cell phone, phone scanner. Stand. We can intercept all of Eugene's calls. And Alex is just like, uh, no. And I'm like, good call, Alex. But also, I have some serious questions. Yeah, what does your dad do? What is a cell, cell phone, phone scanner? How, you're tapping phone lines? 
Right, like, I think because it's the 2000s, we're just supposed to, like, think of, like, oh, like, the police scanner, you just, like, you can just, like, tap into it because it's a yeah. radio frequency, but that's not how phones No, work. that's not how phones work that's at all. That's not how cell phones work. Yeah. I'm sorry, but... Yeah, man. like, like, uh, uh, you're better off just, like, bugging his computer, maybe? Or, like, like, you know, placing a microphone around him somewhere? Yeah, but yeah, Alex and Callie both get grounded for like yeah. a month. Alex can't go to Old West Fun World, World which came back and uh, it made me very happy. I I fell apart when it came back the second time. I yeah, was like, and then it, it's it was, just and it was like such a dumb thing at the beginning, and I was just like, okay, we're just glossing right over that, and then it makes a comeback, and I'm like, yeah, and then there has well, to be a joke, and then right? it ends with the like, period that it's literally just the moral of the story in a sentence, where it's just like, yes, but I'm making the decisions, and then it fades out. You're yep. like, and, like, now, and then Chris like, is like, uh, don't be curious or you're going to hell. Basically. <laughs> Curiosity <laughs> killed the cat and also your soul. Yep. <laughs> and also, you know he was awfully curious? Satan. He was real curious. So was Eve. Yep. Freaking Eve. That's why we yeah. don't have any strong female roles in this character yeah, in this show. Yeah. Because you freaking ruined everything. She messed it up. The funny thing, though, is as much crap as we've talked, literally the minute the show ended, I was like, man, that was good. <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's exactly it. This episode... Delightful. I'm so much better than the last one. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I can poke holes at it, but that doesn't mean it's bad. And I really, like, like, thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, the production's still there. The plot's super interesting. Yeah. It's well it's only getting acted, more interesting. Like, yeah, we're building building up some intrigue. Yeah. I mean, I obviously know what's going to happen. And it's yeah. like, and I still want to listen to it. I still right. want to listen to it again. Like, yeah. And, and I think uh, the, the note that I have is like, Odyssey is just like so big. And they've, because they've been doing it so long, there's so many storylines going on at once that like, it's pretty much unparalleled in what it has accomplished as like, far as, as making far as such as an scope. expansive universe. Yeah. And they really nailed the like something that i've never seen like a tv show do particularly well but like the transitioning cast in and out mm-hmm. yeah and it's like as voice actors pass away or move on to better things or whatever they're really good about and we're or like even this thing where we've got like will ryan on hiatus like there's not just, they literally wrote him out of the script and it was not right, like a, a bad thing in a great way yeah and to the point where like he's still like at this point he's still in odyssey he's a huge plot point well yeah and he's a huge plot point in this episode and Connie's like, oh, yeah, I talked to Eugene last week. Yeah, there's not a disconnect there. No, it's just, like, he's not just one of the focal characters. Yeah. They... Even, well, actually, I mean, he kind of is, because right. most of the episode is him, they're like, what's Eugene doing? Right. <laughs> but we never hear him. Like, yeah. Will Ryan's not in this episode, but, but we still get a lot of Eugene. And, yeah, there's so many, so many characters, and... Yeah, I'm really excited about some of the stuff coming up. Some of the other people who get into a mix. It's, it's just, hard to listen to it one at a time. Yeah, it is. Because each episode maybe only has four or five characters. Yeah, yeah. But overall, this whole series, there's like 30. Like, it's, yeah, there's it, so many. Yeah, easily 30. There's so, and there's so many good Like Because, well, the last episode like was all focused on Tom, Tom. and the Shepherds. And, yep. like, Connie and Wit are in both these episodes and most episodes. Yeah. But, like... And switched. Alex and Cal are in the... Well, they were in the last episode, weren't they? I don't think so. Not at all. No. No, you're right. Wait. Unless they were at the counter, or like, at the soda fountain at the very beginning. No, 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 you're right. Yeah, you're right. they weren't. Yeah. yeah, they weren't at night. So it's quite an impressive juggling act, and they really... Yeah, they, they just nail, do it so well. Nail the revolving door, and... And, uh, like, despite poking so many holes in it, it makes it, right. like, enjoyable, which is oh, yeah. interesting, because I find that, like, when I go back and listen to stuff that I used to really like, and I poke holes at it, I'm like, well, this is just less good now. Maybe it is less good, but it's still thoroughly enjoyable right. like, and still very unique. Yeah, I had problems with it that I didn't before, but I also have a greater appreciation for a lot of what it's yeah, doing. Yeah, because, so much of what it's doing. Because they're, like, coming at it as a kid, you don't have, like, it's just kind of, oh yeah, this is Odyssey, this is what happens. Yeah. Coming at it as adults, like, there's nothing else that does this in this way. Nothing, really. And, like... You know, I know that there are podcasts out there that kind of do stuff yeah, like that. We're starting to get more towards this with podcasts because they're they're, they're realizing that they can kind of explore that medium of like a fictitious world in a, in an effective way. But considering these guys started this in the eighties, 
Right. You and, know? Yeah, and you had radio serials back before television, but then they went away. Yeah. Yeah. This has a despite enormous technological advances. Oh yeah. No, it's that like wireless crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. No, but it, it, was, it was really delightful. I'm honestly super looking forward to listening to the next one. Yeah, and it was really fun to go through the episode again. I yeah. uh, uh, can't wait to record. Yeah, it was a good time. We'll be back here. I don't know. I hate think I'm going to try to release these on a weekly basis, but we'll see what happens. But whenever the next one comes out, we will be talking about episode 460. We, we are skip actually skipping. Yeah, we're skipping 459. And because, what's that one titled? Uh, oh, no it's Nova Rising. Rising. Shoot, man. We're getting into the we're getting into the, the yeah, thick of it now. Yeah. Bye. See you guys when we see ya. Wadfam Chalk Pod is a presentation of the Linux Podcast Collective. This show is a fan podcast and has no official affiliation with Adventures and Odyssey or Focus on the Family. As such, the copyright is ours under Creative Commons. Follow the podcast at Wadfam Chalk Pod on Twitter and Instagram, or email us at wadfamchalkpod at gmail.com. Episode 2, Red Herring, was hosted by Dylan Weaver and Andrew Sabo, and edited by Dylan Weaver. And I'm Nathan Haverstick, hoping you'll join us next time for more of the Wadfam Chalk Pod. <laughs>